So what's going on? Like, um, I want to chat today, you know, let you kind of let you in on some couple of things about this industry, about being an entrepreneur. Um, one thing's for sure, especially as a barber or stylist, a lot of us don't understand that, yes, we're self-employed, but what you really did is created yourself your own job. So what I mean by that is, um, yes, you're self-employed and you have to do the things that you have to do to make your money and, and build your brand and, and make things, to do the things that is gonna make you be successful in your industry. But here's a, here's, a, here's one thing that we always forget, that just because you know, you're, you're a barber, maybe you're on bullfriend or commission, and you, know, you make your own schedule, you have a clientele and, and all of those things, so you feel as though, hey, I'm self-employed, I come with, I, my clients work for me. Well, two, two key principles I wanna hit you with today, just to kinda put things in perspective for you. You know, uh, as a business owner, I found out that, you know, yes, you are self-employed, but you're not self-employed. Like I said, what you did was you created yourself a job. Now you're self-employed, so now you don't have, no one is marketing for you. You have to be your own marketer, so that's a job. Now you have to, you don't have nobody doing your bookkeeping, so you have to make, take care of that yourself, make your own bookkeeping and keeping track of your money. That's a job. You, now you don't have anybody that is controlling your cash flow. That's a job. Now you don't have nobody telling you what time you need to be at work and that if you're not on time, that you're fired. That's a job. Some of us need to fire ourselves from work because we come in late, we leave early. If you work for McDonald's or Burger King and your schedule was seven to three, do you think you would come in at 10 o'clock and work from 10 to 3 and still get the same amount of money because people know you make good sandwiches? No. Your boss going to say, if you do that again, you're fired. So why would you do that and, and make such a commitment to somebody else like a McDonald's or Burger King, but you can't make that same commitment to yourself? Some of you need to fire yourself. And as a self-employed, you want to just you know do it because that's what works for you. You want to go to the gym or you want to sleep in or you want to go to a, a matinee movie or you know, you just want to have some fun before you go to work because you don't think those clients are going to be there. But you know what? When you're building a brand, brand consists of consistency. If you're not there, then you're not consistent. That's principle number one. Principle number two is when you're creating these jobs for yourself, you have to understand that Yes, you know you're on your book. You're your own bookkeeper. You're your own tax guy. You're your own marketer. You're your own budgeter. You know you're 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 doing all these jobs on your own. Well, the question is, are you really doing them? Because when you go to buy a house, a new car, or you need to show some credentials saying that you actually made some money, and other than just paying, taking cash under the table, you're not paying any taxes to on your Uncle Sam. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. You know, I looked at my family tree. I don't have an Uncle Sam on my family tree. So I don't know where this guy, Uncle Sam, came from that want to take all my money, right? I feel you. Trust me, I feel you. But the fact of the matter is, you got to pay your taxes. Just because you're self-employed, you're a barber, you get cash every day, you think that you don't have to pay taxes. Well, it's going to bite you and your legacy in the butt, all right? You're not just hurting yourself. You're hurting your children. You're hurting your family. You're hurting, your, you're hurting everybody that relies on you to build something that, that that needs you. You're hurting, not just you, you're hurting them. So start filing your taxes right. Start saying you make it the right income. Giving yourself an opportunity to build a foundation that somebody else can live off on at another time. Build your legacy. Yeah, I know you don't at Uncle Sam, but it's okay though, because if you do it right, Uncle Sam will take care of you. So in a nutshell, that's principle two. Take care of your Uncle Sam, and he'll take care of you. This is your boy Arthur Lyle with the secrets to success in this barber industry and hair industry. Talk to you soon. Peace and love.